We're racking off Gracious today, which is our IPA. We first brewed Gracious last year and it went down an absolute storm. It was absolutely brilliant. Lovely, lovely brew. Once a beer has been brewed, it goes into the fermentation vessel to ferment. That's where the yeast reacts with the natural sugars that come out of the malts. We'll be taking readings during that time to see how that sugar level is dropping and how the alcohol is, is coming through. And once we get to the, the correct reading, we stop that process by putting on what we call a cold crash, which means that we will now switch on the big chillers that are at the back of me here and that will chill that beer right down from, from about 20 degrees round to about six, five degrees, and that puts the yeast to sleep. At the same time, we then put in the uh, finings adjunct at the top, and that's a, that's a type of finings which begins to bring the, the yeast down to the bottom of the cone. You can see it it comes down into a cone shape at the bottom of the fermentation vessel. Once they've gone down after about four days or so, we then begin to uh, rack off the beer into the cask, ready to go out to the pubs. So, first of all, we've got all our casks cleaned thoroughly and then sterilised. We will then put in some brewer's syrup to prime the uh, cask. This is what it looks like going into the cask. There's still a lot of yeast in there, which has basically gone to sleep a little bit. And the, the brewer syrup, the priming sugar, will wake up that yeast as the uh, uh, temperature rises a little bit, and the yeast will start working again. And the byproduct of the yeast working again is carbon dioxide. And so that's a little taste, a tingly taste you get on your tongue. What Tom's is putting in there now are finings. Now these finings that we use are going to be uh, clearing the beer down yet again, down to the belly, the bottom of the cask. We will then seal it up, put a label on it, and then it will go and live in the cold store to condition. And that will live in there for about a week or so, and then we'll hold it back just a little bit more, then it's ready to go for His Majesty's coronation on May the 6th.